Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we're gonna be installing uh, Brembo's on my new 2022 Subaru BRZ. Um, again, code name Sylvie. They came directly off of my 2013 Scion FRS, um, that 10 series I had that was supercharged. And that's actually why I had the Brembo's on it um, because I needed that stopping power. Now the stock brakes of the BRZ of the 2022 is actually pretty good. It kind of feels like the Brembo's, um, but being that I still have the Brembo's, why not just go ahead and put it on? I heard it's a direct fit. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, you know see what we need and go ahead and install these guys all right so this is what we're gonna need we're gonna need of course our Brembo's we're going to need um, rotors from a performance package BRZ I chose the DBA rotors um, as you can see it has the slots in them but you can choose any factory OEM one um, and then for your dust shields you can definitely cut yours your old ones and have the beer or the Brembo's fit on them no problem um, but I definitely wanted to keep that OEM look um, so I went ahead and bought the dust shields from a from a performance package BRC um, and then your brake fluid you can get any dot three or dot four uh, brake fluid but I went ahead and got the 5.1 from O'Toole um, as far as your front Brembo is you are going to need shorter bolts from a I think it's like a an 08 STI um, they have the shorter bolts because the knuckle um, doesn't clear this brace that used to be there because this one would fit on the FRS on the 2013 FRS um, but it doesn't fit on the new BRZ I think it fits on um, the current gen 2022 GR86s because they still have the the cast or the the iron uh, front knuckle but don't quote me on that I have no I haven't really looked at the knuckle of the GR86 um, but I would definitely recommend if you have a BRZ and you want to do this go ahead and just buy those shorter bolts so you can direct fit and don't have to cut anything um, but that's pretty much it as far as what we need Okay, so pretty much here, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the 19 millimeter bolts that are holding in this whole caliper. You can take off these guys, but I wanna go ahead and just take off the whole caliper um, so that we can take off the rotor. All right, so once we take off the caliper, all we're gonna have to do is just pull um, the rotor out. I know on some of the older ones, it might be a little different. You can use your, your bolt holes here to push this away, but let's see if we can go ahead and just wiggle it off. Okay, so from here, um, it would help if you had like a bungee strap to hold your caliper to the strut um, or what have you. Um, but being that I don't have, um, you know, a a, a bungee what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the dust shield it's actually holding it up and then immediately just replace it with the bigger dust shield so it can hold it up We're gonna go ahead and install the Brembo's right on top of the rotor just to kind of make the, the um, cable swap a little bit better, the brake line swap. For the caliper itself, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and torque down your two nine millimeter bolts, or excuse me, 19 millimeter bolts to 88.5 foot pounds. Here's the messy part of this whole thing where we have to transfer the brake hose. Um, there is two crush washers in between this little banjo bolt, so you wanna go ahead and pick yourself up some um, new crush washers. I got these from Subaru. You can go ahead and see the part number there. Um, you just wanna go ahead and get uh, two for each side. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just um, put on the brake, uh, the brake hose onto the new caliper. If 
you if you get any um, brake fluid on the caliper, you definitely want to clean it off. So just I'm gonna put some some water to kind of wash that down. So don't forget to torque this uh, bleeder valve to um, 14 foot pounds. All right, and for the rear, it's a little bit more involved. Um, you do have to remove your CV axle nut to remove the hub, so you can uh, put in that. Um, that dust shield uh, but like I said if you're not gonna be replacing the dust shield if you're gonna go ahead and just uh, cut out your existing ones all you have to do is really do what we did in the front um, replacing the rotor and the caliper um, but we're gonna go ahead and loosen this CV axle nut Okay, so now that we remove the CV axle nut, we're gonna go ahead and remove the 17 millimeter uh, bolts that are holding this caliper in and just put it on um, the upper control arm just to rest it there. Okay, and don't forget to remove your parking brake because if you go ahead and you try to pull this off with the parking brake on, of course, there's being pressured being applied to the outer diameter of, you know, of your uh, brake rotor. So go ahead and turn off or take off your uh, handbrake so that you can take off this easily. All right, so this is mainly the portion of the involved part. So what you want to do is you want to remove your um, your your basically your parking brake you want to take off the little um, clips that are holding it in these two and then you might want to release some of these little um, springs so that you can remove this whole brake assembly or the parking brake assembly now I would recommend before you do this take a picture uh, so you know exactly how it goes <music> All right, so once you take everything down, what you want to do is go ahead and remove your um, handbrake line. All you have to do is just kind of like pull at it and kind of maneuver it in a way that you can just slide it out, just like that. And go ahead and remove your pins that held in the parking brake. Behind the parking brake cable, there's going to be this little clip on top of this little line on the back side of this dust shield. You want to just go ahead and get a pick and pry up and just take it off. And then from there, you should be able to kind of pull out the, the whole brake line or the, the handbrake. Um, but we're going to go ahead and remove the hub so that we can remove this dust shield. We're going to remove the hub by removing these 14 millimeter um, bolts that are holding it in. All right, so we put on the new uh, dust shield with the hub and we tightened down those four 14 millimeter bolts to 48 foot pounds. Um, now we just go ahead and put back the brake assembly or the handbrake assembly. Make sure that you put some grease right here in the contact points just like the other uh, dust shield did have. And like I said, revert, refer to that photo that you took earlier um, of how everything is set up. All right, so once you've done that, you wanna make sure that you didn't put any grease on your um, friction material of your um, handbrake. So make sure that if you did, just go ahead and just spray some brake cleaner and go ahead and just clean it off. Um, but once you do that, like I said, just make sure you put all the springs back, you lubed up the, or greased up the, the places where you really need to put grease um, and then put on that little um, handbrake clip that we took off from the backside of this dust shield.
All right, and once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and put this hole at the bottom so that you can see your parking brake adjustment. There should be um, a place for you to adjust the parking brake to expand more, because what you wanna do is you don't wanna just throw it on there because it might have some play in it. So you're gonna move that adjustment, um, that, just, that little adjustment knob with like a flat head screwdriver so that you can expand this guy. And when you're moving it, it's, it's not so free like it is right now. So now we can go ahead and install the Brembo caliper. Um, just like we did in the front, we're just gonna slide it on and put on the two bolts. Also, don't forget to tighten these two bolts down to 53 foot-pounds. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, 12 millimeter bolt that banjo bolt is holding in the brake hose and put it right onto um, the caliper just like we did for the fronts. All right, and just like that, we went ahead and threw on the rear Brembo caliper. Just remember to uh, tighten your CV axle bolt to 160 foot-pounds um, before you bolt on your wheel, um, but that should be it. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side and uh, go ahead and start with uh, bleeding the brakes. And just like that, we went ahead and installed Brembo's right onto Sylvie, again, the 2022 uh, Subaru BRZ. Um, it, for the first um, thoughts as far as having Brembo's, like I said, I've had it on the 2013 um, FRS, but it was um, definitely a good um, upgrade. So now that I'm driving, um, it does have a little bit more bite. I feel like it stops way sooner. Um, and then of course, just, I mean, just look at it. It, it, looks, it looks amazing. Uh, with the red Brembo's and you know the bigger inch or the bigger diameter uh, rotors but um, definitely excited for the things to come I just wanted to uh, thank you guys again for watching um, my YouTube channel and like I said um, just subscribe hit that bell notification so you can get um, up to date with everything that I drop as far as modifications to Sylvie and everything that we're doing